Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Curator's Corner here at the National Civil War Naval Museum. I'm Jeff Seymour, Curator and Historian at this great institution. And for this episode, I brought something out of the closet, a naval uniform top. Sometimes referred to as a jumper and sometimes incorrectly referred to as a frock. But this design is specific to the crew of the CSS Chattahoochee, which you can see right here behind me. The design is basic pre-war naval uniform design, and you've got the flap, you've got the basic uh, sleeves there and how it's formed and so forth. But this particular uniform, instead of being either blue or gray, uh, remember that, uh, who ever heard of a gray sailor? Eh. Well, in 1862, none other than Catesby R. Jones is transferred to Columbus, Georgia to take command of the Chattahoochee River Squadron. And when he arrives here, he brings with him some of the crew of the CSS Virginia. Ah, they're in their nice uniforms, they're snappy and so forth. And what does he find here in Columbus? A bunch of haphazardly dressed sailors and former army guys. Yes, they're still using uh, civilian wear, they're still wearing their army uniforms, they're all over the place. So, Jones, who's a little bit of a stickler for regulations, yeah, he orders official sailor uniforms from the local manufacturing uh, units, outfits, city mills and so forth, uh, to make jean wool sailor uniforms for the crew of the CSS Chattahoochee. And this is as close a reproduction as anyone's gonna get. Uh, the Gene Wool is taken directly from, it's a copy of existing examples of Columbus Depot uniforms. It's the same style and weave as those surviving uniforms. And it comes in that traditional style. You've got the flap. Uh, nobody really knows what the origin of the flap is, and there's a lot of good stories about it, some good ones, but uh, it, it's still traditional at this point. And, eh. uh, but on one side you've got canvas, and the other side is, oh, is that blue jean material? Oh, yes it is. Well, anyway, there's your traditional flap, and then the traditional sailor jumper. Again, frock is a little bit un... Uh, it's an unusual term that's sometimes applied to this particular piece of clothing. Uh, something that I've added to this is the Petty Officer's Badge, and this is typically worn on the right sleeve if you are in line, and if you wear one on the left, left side, the left sleeve, then you are a, you're a cook, you're a sailmaker or something. But if you wear it on the right, you're a bosun's mate, you're a gunner's mate, and so forth. You're, you're in the line for promotion and, take, and can take command of uh, sailors in action. But anyway, this is, this is a reproduction. None of these are known to exist, to survive from the Civil War. So this is, this is as close as we're going to get. A reproduction of the uniforms that was worn by the crew of the CSS Chattahoochee right here in Columbus, Georgia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, it, later in 1863, part of the crew of the Chattahoochee was transferred to Savannah, Georgia, and when they arrived in Savannah, they found the local sailors in the, in the Savannah River Squadron wearing all blue, and everybody was looking at and jealous of those Chattahoochee sailors in their snazzy, nice uniforms of jean wool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is just one of those stories you'll not hear anywhere else. Please come see us at the National Civil War Naval Museum and support this program and others by hitting that like button below and visit us on our other social platforms. And please, please visit us at www.portcolumbus.org.